First at 630, we're in the thick of hurricane season and your docks are susceptible to being destroyed by storms. But a new technology revolving around fiberglass may help keep them safe and sturdy. News 13's Taylor Maraska joins us live in Merle's Inlet with one way you can prepare your property for hurricane season. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning. I'm standing on your ordinary wooden dock right now. Now they're pretty susceptible to damage, but thanks to a new technology recently approved in South Carolina, you might be able to save your dock from storms before it's too late. Hurricane Ian destroyed docks across the Grand Strand, many of them still left unrepaired nearly a year later. The same thing happened here along the inlet on the South Strand, but not to one dock. At the peak of Ian, the water would have been probably um, a chest height right here. While the rest of the docks were getting blown apart and, and the storm surge was just beating them to death and tearing them apart, our dock just went below the water and after the water receded, it just came back up. That dock is made out of fiberglass. It's 76 percent heavier than water, which means when the storm surge rises and pushes up against the dock, the dock stays grounded. Fiberglass docks are relatively new. You won't see many around, but not for long. South Carolina DHEC's Ocean and Coastal Resource Management Office just gave them the OK on state shorelines. They finally have resolved that, hey, we need to do something, and they're allowing us to go in and build uh, fiberglass beach accesses. So we are in the process of talking to all the city, county, states. Pratt recently built a 500-foot-long fiberglass dock for the Francis Marion National Forest. It's called the Seaweed Shell Ring Trail. It used to look like this. Now it looks like this. Before the new dock, the government had replaced it four times in less than 15 years. The new one should last more than 75 years. Trying to upgrade, upgrade the level of storm resistance, which could be a huge financial savings for the federal government, for the state, and the county and city governments. On top of that, treated lumber is hazardous, and keeping it out of the water protects not only your dock, but the ocean life as well. There's no timeline yet for when you'll see these docks on South Carolina beaches, but if you head up a little bit north to North Carolina, you'll see there are already a lot of them out there now. Reporting live in Merle's Inlet, Taylor Maresca, News 13.